Praise God! Why do Christians disagree? Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. You know, the book of James is a very unique book. The author is the half-brother of Jesus. And it wasn't till after his the resurrection of Jesus that James became a Christian. And James has a lot to say. The book of James really gets to the point of Christian behavior and Christian conflict. And oftentimes, because the love of God has been shed abroad in the hearts of Christians, we're surprised when there's a Christian conflict, when Christians disagree over a small issue or a very big one. And sometimes that conflict can persist. It brings us to this question. What does the Bible actually say about Christians who disagree? Well, in James chapter 4, verse 1, James hits us between the eyes, figuratively speaking, because he says this. And I have to read it from the King James because it just, sometimes in the King James, it just, it just makes it so very clear. He says it this way, from whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence? Don't they come from your lusts that war in your members? Wow, what a statement. And then he clarifies and says, hey, guess what? They come from that sin nature. They come from that place that, you know, we find that we want to do our own thing and we start to care about our own agenda. Let's, let's, let's see how James says it in the next verse. You lust and have not, you kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. You fight in war, yet you have not because you ask not. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss that you may consume it upon your lust. Well, that's clear enough. And then he goes on from there. He talks about other things that we do that are basically because of our sin nature. Well, the first step in a Christian disagreement is to simply recognize where it comes from. We don't have, because we're asking, from some selfish motives. And so the simple fact of where do, why do Christians disagree is because we sin. We sin and we ask God to move in on our selfish motives. Well, sometimes we simply have to say, hey, Lord, I recognize where that fighting is coming from. It's coming from this old flesh, and I have to confess it. I'm so glad the Bible tells us to confess our faults and receive forgiveness. Romans 10, 9 and 10. If we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in our hearts that God has raised him from the dead, raised him from the dead, we will be saved. And in another place in the Bible, it says, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. And so, so I have a simple picture in the Bible that when I start to recognize where the fault lines are, I can confess it to the Lord and receive forgiveness. Another place I believe in 1 John is where it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The simple fact of the Lord's Prayer, embedded in the Lord's Prayer, is we say, forgive us our sins as we forgive the sins of others. Where does fighting and Christian disagreement come from? Well, it comes from the flesh. It comes from our own carnal desires. But there's a solution. The solution is found in Christ and the forgiveness that he offers that we can also offer ourselves. You see, the Christian uh, faith can turn into Christian faithfulness. And our attitude and actions then become positive and good because of what the Lord has done in our life. Thanks for watching Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. If you like these videos, the best and most helpful thing you can do is to hit that red button called subscribe. You only have to do it once 
and it's absolutely free. Praise God!